if there are any questions, we can take them. We might have to limit the questions because it's the time of Salah, but if there are a couple of questions, we'll take them, inshallah. Uh, Maran, I have one question uh, regarding Surah Baqarah. Yes. And that's ayat number uh, 285. Ayah number 285? Right. Okay. In which uh, it states that, you know, it talks about the key things about, uh, you know, the uh, belief in Allah, Rasul, and Kitab, and Angel. But then it says that all Rasul are equal. Now, that how does that tie in with the grades of the Rasuls? Yes. Ahsan, it's a very good question. So the ayah that you're referring to, as you said, is from Surah Al-Baqarah, Surah number 2, ayah 285. And the exact part of the ayah is where Allah says, لا نفرق بين أحد من رسوله That we do not make any difference. We, need, we do not distinguish between our messengers. Now, the ayah is not saying that they are all equal in their spiritual rank. Because we know that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in another verse, He says that we have done tafleel, we have preferred and favored some messengers over the other. So how do we reconcile? Prophets are of different spiritual ranks, and the greatest among them is the Holy Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa So what does it mean when Allah says we don't make any distinction among them? It means there is no difference in their message. Meaning, if you were to summarize the teachings of, of Ibrahim, of Musa, of Isa, of even the Holy Prophet, you can summarize it in one word, in one statement. La ilaha illallah. Everything that all of these prophets are teaching, they all go back to Tawheed. So we do not distinguish among them, meaning that their message is singular. Their message is the same. Now the practices, the jurisprudence may change, but the essence of all of these messages of, the, of, of what they're teaching is the same. So there is no distinction between what Musa is teaching and what, what Rasulullah is teaching. It's all Tawheed. It's all inviting people to worship God, to enhance their spirituality. All of these prophets, they're spiritual physicians. They're inviting people towards God. They're bringing them towards God. So from that standpoint, from that angle, we don't distinguish between the prophets. But they're not all equal. But No, they're not all equal in their spiritual status and rank. They're different in their spirituality but they are equal in the, in their in their function in their the message that they're delivering okay thank you um sheikh uh, we talked about two encounters i think one was the highest part of the horizon and yes um it, at least it sounds to me like they're both kind of the same thing but that because it sounds like is at the highest part of the horizon could you please ex um, explain what the difference is between those two? Now, again, I've looked at the tafasir, you know, from from Faith al Kashani to Sheikh al Tabrasi. I've looked at the different uh, commentaries. I haven't seen that any scholar has very clearly defined what is meant by, you know, Wahua bil ufuq al a'la. You know, so this, it could be, and again, it, this is all speculation until we have, you know, a, a conclusive statement from a ma'asum, an authentic statement. But it could be that the, the first, وَهُوَ بِالْأُفُقُ الْأَعْلَى It could refer to the vision of God in the lower levels. Uh, so it's the highest point of one of the lower heavens, perhaps. It could be that at the highest level of one of the Samawat, the Prophet experiences this inner witnessing. And then when he reaches Sidrat al-Muntaha and he goes beyond that point, this is, this is the second. 
So again, I have not found a very clear narration or any any scholar that takes a very firm position on, you know, what exactly is meant by al-ufuq al-a'la. Are we talking about the highest point of sama'u dunya the highest point of the other other heavens? Because we know Sidrat al-Muntaha, at least according to many, is the seventh heaven. And this is where the boundary of creation, beyond that, you know, and this is probably where, you know, fadana, fatadalla, fakana, qaba, qawseini, aw adna, this could be referring to that. But wa huwa bil ufuq al a'la could be referring to a lower, one of the lower heavens. And Allah knows best. 